StackShot Macro Rail. The StackShot Controller. What can it do and how will it improve my photography? StackShot has many features to simplify macro and micro photography. Its durable construction and full-featured controller opens up endless possibilities. Instead of just talking about it, how about we take a look at it running? Using StackShot is easy. In Auto Step Mode, a beginning and end position is selected. The position of the rail is adjusted by using the forward and back buttons on the controller. Fine-tuning of the position can be performed by lightly tapping the buttons. Once satisfied with the start position, the up or down button is pressed. Then you select the end position. The up or down button is pressed to continue. The rail automatically returns to the start position and begins capturing the images. For this sequence, a Canon 7D and their 100mm macro lens is used. The subject of interest is an orchid flower. The StackShot controller coordinates the camera position, settling time, exposure, and potentially exposure bracketing, and automatic return upon completion. The optional auto return feature allows adjustment of the camera's parameters and lighting without having to reposition the camera. StackShot takes the burden out of image stacking. It lets you rapidly experiment with different settings, effects, and most importantly, subjects of interest. This sequence shows the progression of StackShot as it moves the camera closer towards the orchid. This is the completed stack of the orchid flower. In this example, we're going to use the auto distance mode with the Canon MPE65 lens. Since the lens's depth of field is 0.249 millimeters, the distance per step setting is adjusted using the up and down buttons to make a value of 0.15 millimeters to have some overlap. Using the forward and back buttons, the position of the camera is adjusted to the initial starting point. Pressing the up or down button sets the starting point for the stack. Then, the position of the rail is adjusted to the final position of the stack. Again, fine-tuning of the position is accomplished with short taps of the buttons. One more button press initiates the capturing process. From this view, the rail step size is so small not even visible. After each step, a configurable settling time, in this case three seconds, allows any movement in the tripod or camera to stop prior to capturing the image. The settling time can also be used to allow the flashes time to recycle. The incremental results can be monitored from the camera along with the exposure histogram. Here's a close-up view of the rail showing the 0.15 millimeter movement. The lightweight anodized aluminum holds the camera securely as the carriage slides smoothly across the stainless steel rails. The collected images have an obvious narrow depth of field. You can clearly see the stacking from the front of the ant's antenna to the back of its head. This would have been difficult using a manual macro rail system. The completed stack results in a crisp, vivid image. For more information, please visit us at www.cognosis-inc.com Cognosis, where the left and right brain meet.